questions? Hey, Sean, can you just kind of talk about this off season when you uh, kind of around a completely new ro locker room now? How has that adjustment been for you personally, kind of seeing one team transition to a completely new team? Um, I'm taking it well. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, got recruited by Miles, you know, and, you know, things happen for a reason. You know, I love Miles still to this day, you know, man, I have a good relationship, but, you know, Horbrick, he's a great guy since he's been here, you know, his, things been going well, you know, as a team, you know, get to start a new chapter in my life with new teammates and, you know, people I'm call my brothers for the rest of my life. So for so well, it's been great, I'll say. It's been good. You and Thor are kind of the only returning guys here. Have you had to help some of these guys just get used to Lincoln and be a tour guide and maybe a little bit more vocal leader? Yeah, I've been Ubering more than usual. <laughs> yeah, I've been Ubering more than usual, I'll say. Most definitely, you know, Lincoln and Nebraska, you know, it's a very – it's a very rare place, I would say, because you have to come here to experience it, you know, like when you first hit Nebraska, you know, but then when you get here, you know, the fans, facility, you know, so everything is good. And Eve, what's just these first few weeks been like? Because everybody's kind of gotten used to each other and gotten on campus. And everything. yeah, everything's been good. Um, you know, I think it came better uh, quicker than we expected. Um, you know, guys are learning on the fly. We're learning quick. Um, you know, it's only July, but as long as we show progression and improvement every day in practice, um, I think it's going to be good for us, especially for this trip coming up. How do you feel like you've settled into Lincoln? I feel like I've settled in pretty well. Um, you know, I'm still trying. I'm a food guy, so I'm still trying to find all the food spots and stuff like that. But um, other than that, I've been enjoying it very well. Enjoying being around, you know, my teammates, uh, like DB said, brothers that I call for the rest of my life. And um, you know, it's been a good, it's been a good experience so far. And I know it will be, you know, continued throughout the year. Both of you have transferred to other schools as well. Like, what's the key to meshing as a team and? learning each other's names and learning their habits, like what's the key to just figuring this all out? I would say you have to just be open, you know, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. You know, for me, I was at Robin Morris and then, you know, I turned shirts to Nebraska. For my three years in college, I haven't been on a team with more than like four players, you know, every year. So I'm kind of getting used to it, you know, just opening up, you know, being, you know, family to guys. Because, you know, when you get first off the plane, you know, you leave your family, you know, friends back at home. So you get off the plane, you're just like, you know, nervous and anxious. So I just learned, you know, you got to be open and be family oriented, you know, to your new teammates. You can't kind of be in your bubble. So. You guys try to spend time with each other away from basketball to, to get acquainted better? Yeah, for sure. You know, at, at the practice, you know, we're always playing video games, 2K, Madden. Um, you know, I think that's big big time for, you know, for a good team. That's everybody's new. Uh, spending time off the court, uh, I, think, I think it helps us open up, like DB said. I think it helps us build team camaraderie more than on the court type, type of stuff. For either of you guys, how's it kind of been learning Hoiberg's system and, and kind of how do you see that fitting this team? Um, I'll say, you know, right now, I'll say, you know, we're going through like our caterpillar phases, you know, we're not at the butterfly yet, you know, we're a new team, we only been here for like a month, so, you know, fast paced, but also, you know, breaking it down, you know, piece by piece, going through the sets, you know, certain play calling, certain actions, so, so far it's been good. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's been good. Um, you know, I think this trip that we got coming up is really going to help us uh, get us to play against other competition. Um, and, you know, just to see where we're at, you know, in, in August. And I think, you know, once we see where we're at from August, we can go from there and improve better. Deshaun, what's the transition been like for you from knowing that you're not going to play last year to knowing that, you know, this is kind of you, you get to play this year? I'm excited. I'm definitely excited. You know, new teammates, new coaching, new style of play. I'm excited. Hey, and if you're new here, but you're also one of the older guys on the roster, as a result of that, have you taken on, tried to take on a leadership mm -hmm. role, being one of the vocal guys, even though you know you're still trying to get used to this place yourself? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I come in every day trying to, you know, lead us. Um, you know, be vocal. Uh, you know, just pick everybody up. You know, you know when when times feel you know a little down, we turn over the ball a little bit. You know, just understanding that. Listen, guys, it's early. You know, we still we still got time to improve, but let's just do it with improvement. Make sure we're we're going hard with everything we do. Um, you know, I think because you you play how you practice. So I think once we go hard and once we you know continue to grind throughout the summer, things gonna be good for us in the long run. What do you guys think of the four point line and getting used to all that? <laughs> for, for, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult at first, you know, especially when you're uh, backing up on offense, preparing for your shot, because um, you, you realize you think you're so far out. But once you get that step in, you're right there at the three-point line. So, you know, it's a kind of uh, confusing at first, but I think it really helps out a lot with the spacing on the offense and uh, getting guys open shots as well. Sean, how, how different is, is what Coach Hoiberg wants to do, maybe compared to what you've done in the past under Coach Miles or any even Robert Morris? It's different, you know. It's real different, you know, coming a guy, you know, from the NBA, you know, where I respect it. You know, I have respect for all my coaches in the past, but, you know, he has that on his resume, you know, NBA coach. So I'm just open, you know, just to learn, get my IQ better for the game because everything he's teaching, you know, is for a reason. Whether if he's slowing the game down, he wants us to go up and down, you know, he's been there before, so I'm just open. Sean, from the beginning of the 
beginning of those first workouts after Coach Hoiberg was hired. What has changed about this session you guys have had since last Monday? How much more comfortable are you guys in, in getting kind of the regular practice things down? It's very different, you know, the pace. I feel like, you know, at first, you know, like guys, you know, guys are coming in, you know, trying to play their game a little bit. Then when you get to college, you know, it's kind of different. You know, it's not the same no more. You have to, you know, embrace the challenge, I'll say, you know, embrace the process. You know, you come in, you think you know, but, you know, you got to be all open ears. How about there? Have you guys been overseas? Uh, yeah, I went my freshman year. Um, we went to Venice and Lake Como. So, you know, the flight is going to be tough, but we're going to get through it. So you, I guess if you've gone through something like this before, what, what's the benefit of it? Uh, I think the benefit of it is getting early runs, um, playing other competition, um, you know, seeing how our offense and defense is, um, you know, like I said, against other, other competition besides practice. And I think it helps you uh, get a couple of these games in before the season starts. How curious are you guys to just see how you guys look playing against another team and just kind of seeing how this all works? Uh, I'm very curious. I'm, I'm excited, you know, new team, you know, I feel like we have a lot of weapons offensively and defensively as well. So I'm just, you know, ready to let everything lose and, you know, get ready to play. What do you guys' uh, early, early impressions of Doc Sadler on the sideline here? Uh, Doc's a guy and full of energy. Um, you're going to hear him throughout the whole practice, but you know that's a great coach. That's somebody you want to be around um, on a daily day basis. Um, you know, a guy who got great energy, a guy who's well respected, um, and a guy who knows what he's talking about. You know, once he knows what he's talking about, you're going to listen. Um, so being around him on a day to day uh, is a great thing, and I know he's going to help us learn and become better basketball players and better people like throughout the year. Hey, Sean, what's it like been having Armand there out there during the transition <coughs> uh, for you guys that have been there last year too? You know, it's it's very it's helpful, you know, because you have somebody that was there with you last year on the coaching staff, which is a blessing. So it's good, you know. Gates keep Gates keeps me, you know. He's always on me, always staying on me. So you know, I'm happy. And also, you know, his energy as well. You know, him and Doc, they both have great energy. You know, good days or bad days, they're always on your side. You know, telling you you're good, telling you you're bad, they always on you. So I appreciate them. What were you up to this summer? Like, how did you work on your game? Uh, I was working hard uh, with my with my guys back home. Uh, my trainer Stanley Remy. Um, been down in Miami all summer, working hard um, every day, strength and strength and conditioning. Uh, I had surgery, surgery, soldier surgery in December, so I had to get back, uh, work hard all summer, and uh, I'm glad where you know where I am to this day, and I know I only continue to get better. You feel healthy in the short Yeah, for sure. Day. I feel healthy. I feel conditioning wise, 100%. Um, I'm glad I did it. You know, I'm glad where I am today. What is your uh, knowledge of the Big Ten, the style of basketball, what you're getting into? I mean, what have you seen? What do you hear? Um, you know, I, I heard it's, it, you know, it's big boys basketball. Um, you know, it's, it's great fans, uh, great teams, um, and just something that you want to be a part of. You know, you got to bring your A game every game, no matter what. Um, you know, I think with this with this team that we got, we're going to bring our A game. Um, we're going to be ready, and we're going to play hard for 40 minutes straight. Sean, what, what do you tell the guys about the big team? You know, in practice, you know, I give them my five fouls, you know. I give them aggressively. I tell them Big Ten is big boy basketball, you know. Sitting, you know, on the bench last year, you know, embracing my teammates. You see it, you know, the refs, they don't call, you know, a lot. You know, it's the Big Ten. It's one of the best conferences in the country. So, you know, I just started telling them, you know, it's a lot of physicality. You know, you got to be vocal and you got to be tough. Hey, Sean, you got to basically go head-to-head with James Palmer for a full year last year. How much different of a player are you from this time a year ago to now? Coming out of that bubble, like hitting first, I'll say, you know, like when you're a sophomore, you know, sitting sophomore, you're going against, you know, a pro every day, you know, it helps your game. So I just, you know, try to tell the guys, you got to stay physical, you got to stay ready, you got to stay aggressive on defense and on offense. You can't just be one side on the court. How did you feel like you improved, though, during that year, that year away from having to sit out? I feel like I improved a lot. You know, when I first came in, I would say I was just trying to go up and down, you know, like not really slowing the game down. And then I started uh, watching film, and I feel like that helped me a lot. Like I watch film a lot now, more than I'll say like my freshman, sophomore year. Like, you know, I'm watching practice as soon as it's over with, you know, calling up the video guy, like, can you put film on? Can you put film on? So just embracing and everything. What did you – how did those battles with James go? What, like what sort of things did you learn exactly? I learned a lot from James, uh, you know. Overplaying him, you know, he had go back during me. You know, I just feel like he had, you know, a couple cheat codes to the game, you know, being a vet around that he taught me. So I embraced him, you know, either hooking, you know, doing something, you know, the ref can't see, you know, he just taught me a lot of things offensively and defensively. So I appreciate James. For both of you guys, I know you've only had a few workouts and a couple practices, but uh, any players have jumped out to you, uh, has shown flashes 
uh, any of your new teammates? Um, you know, it's Amari. Um, you know, coming out as a freshman, uh, he's been he's been confident. He's been playing hard. Um, he's been bringing energy as well, and that's what you want. That's what you want from the young guys. You know, just somebody who brings energy from day to day practice, um, who gets better. And uh, like I said, you know, the overall team, everybody's been showing flashes. Everybody been um, you know together, and uh, everybody been loving the process that we've been doing so far. Shamar, Shamari, everybody, I feel like, you know, has their little days, but I feel like, you know, Shamar, out of all the guys, you know, coming in, he's been very aggressive as a freshman. And, you know, I stay in this area a lot, too. I tell him, you know, it's going to be days where you could go in the gym, shoot a thousand shots, and you might have a day where you come in practice and you might not make it. But I told him you got to stay with the process, stay with the process, you know, just believe in the coaches. They're going to put you in the right positions defensively and offensively. Just allow them to make you get better. So, How do you guys – formulate expectations for yourselves as a team this year when you're still trying to learn roles, still trying to learn playbooks, things like that. How do you guys how do you guys kind of weigh where you think you guys can perform this season? Um, you know, I think just controlling what we can control. Um, you know, I think we control our attitude. I think we control how we practice, how hard we play. Um, and just knowing that once we do that every game, um, go out there on a day-to-day game basis and we bring our attitude high and bring our, you know, our effort at a high level, I think, you know, you can never know what could happen throughout the season. And just understand it's going to be a roller coaster season. It's a long season for everybody. Uh, just sticking together throughout turmoil. And, um, you know, just once we have success, you know, and just, just keep going and, and fighting hard and playing hard. Anything else for players? Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. Guys.